where there is a lot of momentum and experimentation around better buses, around making buses run more smoothly, more reliably, and more quickly. What we're gonna see is some of the BRT pilots in Everett, Arlington, and a joint pilot between Cambridge and Watertown, all of which are testing elements of gold standard bus rapid transit. Highlighting of BRT elements has shown to the riders and the greater public about how these small improvements to bus service can actually make a dramatic difference to people's rides and lives. Fifty percent of the people who are going into Boston are on buses, but we give priority to the other fifty percent who use vehicles, cars. So the rapid bus lane, what it does is it is providing a reliable transit option for residents who use buses. It makes things a lot faster because if the bus just has a way to get through all the time without having obstructions, it would be a lot easier. It's transportation, so it would help out big time for people that don't have any other way of transportation besides a bus. So we're here at the site of uh, one of two Level boarding platforms. Level boarding platform has enormous benefits, especially for people um, using wheelchairs or strollers or scooters or carrying large bags. We're very excited that Everett is the only uh, city in the nation to have piloted this. And on top of their dedicated lane and the transit signal priority, it's really positioning this city as a leader in transit innovation and moving closer and closer to true bus rapid transit. It's very más fácil de locomover con con carrinho, con bebé. East Arlington, Massachusetts, and we are here uh, where we're testing bus rapid transit and a number of different elements, including what you see behind me, the dedicated bus lane. So we're running from Lake Street all the way to the Elway Brook Parkway. It's an area where there's pretty significant congestion on the roadway. The Department of Public Works puts out the cones at 5.45 a.m. and then picks them up at around 9, 9.15. The reason why this is so important is because it has an impact on so many people's lives. Um, not just the 10,000 bus riders, in fact, people have said, well, if the bus was reliable and if the bus you know, could have that kind of roadway dedication moving forward, I would ride the bus. Uh, we worked on the creative and our, along the Bar Foundation and the cities and the different pilots here. And the creative that was associated with it was trying to highlight not just the bus itself and how it's used, but the people who ride the bus. So humanizing the entire experience of the bus pilots and the bus experience through BRT. Well, we're really here today to celebrate, I think, our buses and the power of buses, but also the power of collaboration. The reactions from riders are ecstatic. I mean, I'm hearing from people who are just really grateful. I'd also like to see implementations like this get a little more palatable, a little more complete, like we have them on both sides of the street, um, have them in more parts of the city. So I'd like to see, see us continue to build on this and make bus service really excellent. Part of what the Bar Foundation is interested in doing is how do you make public transportation get people where they need to go and a good experience. So if we can have a gold standard bus rapid transit corridor, people get to work quicker. They can get to their recreational activities. They can go catch a ball game or go to their poetry jam or even get to the beach when it's warmer than it is today. It takes will. It takes leaders to say, you know what, I'm gonna take the parking uh, away on the major street and provide bus services in the morning. It's great to be in Boston to see that there is some political will here to improve bus systems. And it's great to see that all of the elements, the basic building blocks towards a really great BRT system are already here. So these pilots are resonating with people around the country. Other cities are noticing what's happening in greater Boston. The importance of demonstrating how you go from these elements to something more robust to real BRT is essential, not just for people here, but it'll be important for other cities that are looking for solutions to improve the daily commute and transit for their people.